Hey, hi, Ben from the Hollywoods. How are you? I want to report the last section of write-ins on the telepathy experiment. Um, this has to do with the monks on Jupiter, approached by a monk who looked like one of the seven dwarfs. Very intelligent, very charming, very amiable, very uh, able to read my mind, very acquainted with the heavy spiritual vibratory rate going on in Jupiter, and the myriad of realities that don't seem to be intersecting that well. Looks like a huge victim society, victimized mainly by Saturn. And uh, the people that run the system, the ones I've encountered more than once now in the last 30 years, run the airport on Saturn, International Airport. And um, they showed me some of the uh, waste on uh, Jupiter, similar to here, like a uh, ditch gully with oil and uh, all kind of assorted debris and the area looking kind of dead. So they were telling me, although they have certain kinds of knowledge, which I'm not privy to all their things, but um, they have a lot of problems too. And the decay in the solar system is around. It's, I think until we break down the Tower of Babel here on this planet and in the solar system so the humans are all in touch and can really take control of destiny, that uh, the, the mess is gonna continue. All right, and so the planetary aspect is um, Mars has just entered Virgo on the early degrees called the degree of the Sphinx, the riddle of the Sphinx. Crossing the star Regulus has to do with show business. So all kinds of stuff has started there and it's trining Pluto and Capricorn. So my guess is going to be um, not a hard shot really. Uh, breakdowns, documentaries on the crookedness of government and big business and, and the collusion. But uh, the next thing to come out is the collusion in the food manufacturing. And the truth is going to come out that they've chemicalized the food in order to render the males impotent and passive. Has it worked? Oh, my gosh, yeah, it really has. Can it be reversed? Yeah, it can. But people really got to wake up, you know, and realize that the play is not about them. Right. The next uh, thing to take a look at is um, that Mars and Virgo went into a mutual reception with uh, Mercury in Scorpio and Mercury in Aries. So people with these constellations are trying to those early degrees are going to get a boost because that's a very enthusiastic kind of a, a degree. Jupiter and Uranus are now conjunct in Aries. So early Leo, early Aquarius, early Sagittarius are all going to get a jolt. So it's time to, it's time to jump and move, jump and move. All right, so next, next is Lilith in a conjunction with the black hole, the dark moon Lilith in a conjunction with the black hole. And of course that brings out the worst in mothering and um, there's gonna be more seen there. Mars conjunct Pluto, projects can get off the ground. Now the big one is Neptune retrograde on a black hole. Um, Neptune is the, is the psychic faculty, among other things, drug use and alcohol use, delusions, cons, schemes. How about global warming? There's a good con scheme for you. Um, the solar system over the long picture is heating up. The sunspots are causing the erratic measurements, but the carbon dioxide is messing up the air. Neptune retrograde on this black hole uh, accounts for all this psychic work because you know when something gets in a black hole, it's like a hamster in a cage running around and around and around. But that running around, uh, if used right, gets a lot of stuff down. So you can notice people with constellations on black holes are people that are tremendous users of resources and getting things done, but their personal lives are like that. Uh, you know, down the road without a skate key. And the easiest way to keep track of what's going on is to open.